So what y'all just saw was me. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Deja, nice to have you back. If you're new here, hello, nice to meet you. Hope you stay around for a while and subscribe to my channel. Um, but what I was saying was, what you just saw was me moving around my office in my apartment. If y'all didn't, if y'all watched my last video, you know that my boyfriend went to the military or he was once military yesterday. He officially left. Um, did I cry like a baby? Oh yes, absolutely. I have been crying the days leading up because they had told us on maybe December 3rd that like, oh, they told us that he was leaving December 6th. So I only had three days to process it, which is not a long time at all. Because like I said before, we've been living together five years, five years. We've been together six years. So we've lived together our whole relationship. And so I only had three days to like actually prepare myself for him to leave. And it felt very surreal. But yeah, um, cried going back to his parents' house, cried driving back up to my apartment, our apartment. Um, I cried so much that I fucking turned on the windshield wipers thinking that was going to wipe my eye because my eyes were so watery that I could not see. I said, bitch, turn the, turn the windshield wipers on. So yeah, um, I was supposed to get a cat today. I mean, I'm still getting a cat, but I'm not getting the one I was going to get. When we found out that he was leaving, I was like, I need a cat. Like, I don't want to be by myself like that. Like I want, I've been wanting a cat. But yeah, damn, can you tell I've been crying? Um, like I was saying, I did not have enough time to prepare, cry, cry, cried. And this is really my first day without him, as in like in his apartment, like knowing that he's not coming back. <sighs> yeah, I'm very sad. And I, oh, oh, back to the cat. I was going to get this cat out in Dallas, Texas, and it was $1,600, and something happened, stuff came up, and it made me realize, Deja, you do not need this expensive ass cat right now, like, this is just impulsive, you're just acting on your emotions, and if y'all don't know, I, you know what, let me not bring that up, let me not bring that in, uh, but I have... In the past, I've acted on my emotions so much without even knowing. And I I forgot what made me catch myself. So now when I do make a decision, I have to like step back and look like, bitch, are you doing this based off your emotions or is this actually logical? And that decision, spending 1600 on cat, driving four hours away for it, that was definitely emotional because I knew I was gonna be so fucking sad. So, I'm still getting a cat today. It's just not going to be $1,600. And yeah, and I'm going to bring y'all along with me to get the cat. I am still, oh my gosh, the stuff I ordered for my cat is so cute. The little litter box is so cute. I'm probably going to keep it in here, you know, act as decor. Because if you can tell on the wall, we have like a wooden vibe going on. And it's litter box is tan. And it looks like a plant. And I'm gonna put it in here. And then it's little, I got a little water fountain bowl that comes in tomorrow. I got a water fountain bowl. And yeah, my cat is definitely gonna be spoiled. I for sure knew I wanted to get a cat because I already got the food, I got the litter, I got the treats. I ordered a whole 30 pack of toys. I'm not a dog person, I'm not. dogs don't interest me. I don't want a dog. I mean, they're cute and all. For instance, I went to that, whenever, in my last video when I went to that pet place, I went to go look at dogs and I love Frenchies. I love Frenchies. But then they tell me the price. I said, oh, absolutely not. I am not paying this much for a dog that I still have to train. Is it trained? Is it 
Mm. No, no. I'm just not spending that much for a dog. At least not right now. With my finances, no. 5000 Oh, absolutely not. You got me fucked up. So, yeah, I'm just getting ready to... Ooh. I'm just getting ready to go to the bank. Let's go exchange my ones. Because I'm not about to pay this lady in all ones. Um, exchange the ones for hundreds. And then, you know, go get the cat. By the way, my boyfriend, since he left, you know, he couldn't take shit. He left me his AirPod Maxes, his iPad. Ooh, the editing gonna be so cute. Because y'all know I was talking about wanting an iPad. And I was gonna sell my MacBook. However, I figured something out with my MacBook. I got a whole external drive and all that for editing so i don't need to sell my macbook but now i got the macbook and the ipad baby the editing is gonna be cute fire heat okay oh, okay so i'm just going to wear the red yoga pants that I showed in the last video with a white top. Miss Dior. Let me show y'all the little OOTD. That's the red yoga pants I showed y'all with a little white t-shirt. I'm gonna wear some little Uggs. I don't know, I might wear some slides. And then I'm gonna be having to go to back to work soon. Oh, I do not wanna go back to work. I really do not. Ugh. I'm probably gonna go back Thursday, but me and my friend are going to a new club that I'm excited to try. I'm excited for a like change of environment. So what I'm putting in my water is glutamine. This just helps with muscle recovery. I'm also putting in some Oxy Shred from EHP Labs. And then I'm putting in some, oh, I thought it was my boyfriend calling. I know y'all saw how happy I got. Ah, uh, hold on. All right, love you. Bye. Bye. She made me cry. However, I do think I am dealing it, dealing with it way better than I would have would have a few years ago. Maybe even, yeah, no, a few years ago. Maybe like two, two and a half. Because back then I was very, very, very codependent on him. Like I really depended on him for emotional support. I guess. And you know, I went through my own things to where I have found being my own person. But I guess this is really a time where I'm really gonna have to find myself without him. You know, these two months, it's gonna be a long time for me, probably fast as fuck for him. I don't know. It's gonna be too, it's gonna be a long time for me, but you know, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna fly by. It's gonna fly by. That's why I keep telling myself. But yeah, two years ago, with him leaving, I don't know what the fuck I would have done. Like, I was at a state where, um, you know, we had our own separate apartments throughout college. But him going to, like, say he was staying with me for, like, a week, he'll be like, babe, I got to go back to my apartment. I would bawl my eyes out, like, don't leave me, blah, blah, blah. That's probably the daddy issues in me. I'm dead ass. However, we have moved past that, most definitely. Now... I'm just sad because I'm having to find my own routine or find a different routine. Because usually, you know, we'll wake up, he makes me breakfast and you know, we have our own little thing. Now it's just quiet without him, you know, fucking. It's so quiet in here without him yelling at his PC or you know, coming to mess with me on the couch or baby need this, need that, blah, blah, blah. As you can hear my voice, I'm about to cry, so I gotta go. Okay, you guys, so I just got into my car. I switched to my phone camera. Cause I didn't, I don't feel like taking this off the tripod and then putting it back on. And it just be a hassle. But I'm about to go to the bank right now. I do want to change out my purses. Oh my gosh, I haven't used this purse in a while. I'm usually using this purse, but I don't feel like it. So I'm about to switch it out. Sometimes I want like a more bigger bag. <gasps> oh, I forgot I had this perfume. The hair pick. But yeah, I'm finna just go to the bank right now, deposit money, and then head out to go pick up my little baby. I need to figure out which one I want. There's two cats. And I just don't know, but I'm gonna show y'all. 
Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all when I get there and I guess all that. Okay, let me show y'all what I got at Target. Of course, the lady is having me meet her at Target, knowing damn well how much I love that store. She just knew. See, like, I can't escape it. Even on days I'm not supposed to go, I still go. But I just got this cat grooming brush. And then I got... Y'all, my cat finna hate me. I got it this little hat. Look at this little Christmas hat. Ah! And then I got it some... Okay, I know this is probably not the best brand to get, but I got this double duty litter deodorizer. Got that. Oh, not it. Still on. Then I got some peanut butter things, some little peanut butter biscuits, because I still have not ate. Still have not ate. And then I got these Siete Chipotle chips. So that's what I got. And then I got, hold on. Good Lord. Yeah, I was going to put this on my camera, like my actual camera, but so I don't even know where to look with this fucking phone because usually i just look right into the camera but i don't know if i'm looking into the camera right now or looking at the screen so if i'm looking like a whole opposite way my bad and then i got this little cat carrier which is so freaking cute i wish i had it in pink but this is just for now Ooh, my mochi I are we feeling mochi i don't know what we're feeling look hey we're taking him to target and i'm breaking his target virginity yeah, I know you're excited. Look at your loaf. Look at your loaf. It is a 10 out of 10 loaf. Y'all can't see, but she's on, or he's on his first little Target run. I hope you're liking it. Okay, you guys, I am back home. As you can hear, he will not stop crying. But I think I'm going to name him Mochi. You want to see the apartment? And did you want the people to see you? Huh? Come on, let's show the people you. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be scared. This is him. I think I'm gonna name him Mochi. I think you're a Mochi, right? Or Mocha. Okay. Come on. Come here. I got toys for you and everything. Here, you wanna see your toys? Come here. Came with all these. What I also got from <laughs> Target was, you guys, look at this. I had to get him this little reindeer outfit ah! and it has little bells on it and everything and then i got him a little bowl it says sip but we're just gonna turn it the other way and then i got him this little bell collar because he's tiny and i know i'm not gonna be able to find him around this apartment you guys look where he is hiding right now but the litter box we just got here so i'm gonna show y'all that wow i thought it came with the fucking tree in it oh wait, it does Oh, ah, I poured it onto the carpet. And there is the litter box. Isn't that so cute? come to the end of the video we made it through yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this my cat is being super shy i still have not came up with a name yet he's being shy i'm trying to get him adjusted to the new place so hopefully you know he's good in like a couple days or like two a week but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video love y'all